everyone. Daniel Miller here. How are you all doing? Are you guys also testing Anthem VIP demo still? Have you been doing it since Friday? Just like myself. Are you having some technical issues? Should I politely ask? Or are you just completely problem free? Well, we've seen this weekend we had lots of players coming in and raising concerns about the unplayability of the demo. Many problems experienced. Two of the most common were basically the infinite loading screen happening every single time you were about to approach a mission. And the other was so called lag or rubber banding where the character was all the time stuck at the same place going backwards and forwards and not actually proceeding with action enabling the enemies to kill the main character with ease indeed also making the main character not able to respond uh, to incoming fire <clears throat> has been a bit of a struggle throughout the weekend but um, overall we are getting a good picture of what this game is likely to be once it comes out if we just ignore and forget about those technical problems, we are <clears throat> fully aware of this incredibly vast Anthem world with lots of different corners to explore, with beautiful graphics, with very atmospheric sounds and music, as well as a tremendous number of characters who are like to um, talk to us and provide us with subquests. So it's looking awesome, it's looking exclusive, and it's looking very, very formidable. I know I'm always very critical of these kinds of issues, but um, we have to be a bit patient. Anthem is probably one of the greatest projects that Bioware have ever entertained, and it does really provide us with a world which is similar to Mass Effect, but much greater, uh, a lot more expansive in every shape and form, and providing us with many months and years of our ability to play the game, and indeed uh, multiplayer gameplay as well. As you know, <coughs> Anthem is a multiplayer which has been designed... Excuse me, my voice is really cracking. <coughs> I'm not sure why everything seemed perfectly all right earlier. Uh, multiplayer, uh, um, Anthem is a massive multiplayer produced by Bioware. And all of us were waiting with excitement really for the launch of the VIP demo, as you know. All of us uh, playing it, we either purchased the code or indeed were given it because we had pre-ordered one of the editions, either the Ordinary or Legion of Dawn edition, and therefore with anticipation we were waiting for that 25th of January, which did arrive, but unfortunately for half a day nobody could enter the game because of all these dreadful technical difficulties, and there were many many complaints launched at Case Hudson and the Bioware team through Twitter in particular. Uh, they responded and obviously explained what the difficulties were. They did stress, uh, particularly there, director of live operations uh, Mr. Robertson that the problem was not with the server they had enabled many more servers to really cater for the game and multiplayer gameplay but they said there were other issues arising which were perhaps more predictable as many many people got in at the same time trying to enter the demo and obviously explore it so the Bioware team has worked on these issues throughout the weekend I'm um, certainly in position to tell you that none of them have been resolved, they are persisting and as you could see yet again when I was trying the uh, game early on, I, firstly I wasn't able to get in, I had that infinite restarting game, I was given this notice telling, it, telling me that I can be rejoining. Sometimes the notice worked, other times it didn't. It's a bit disappointing because I really want to try uh, all four jamming suits with my character to find out how they would perform. I've uh, donned my second suit called Storm and I tried it last night with a lot of difficulty. It looked like a very, very significantly different suit. I was able to move around with ease, fly around in a different fashion, use different kinds of subclasses as well, which were freezing the enemies to death and then breaking them to bits. So very, very different to the Ranger, which was providing us with the uh, first player introduction right from the beginning. So let's crack on and find out what there is for us tonight, whether the Anthem demo is going to be providing us with some other niceties and indeed I'm really looking forward to all that is to come from Bioware tomorrow because obviously tomorrow is the first working day after Friday and um, a lot of flack to come Bioware way from many online magazines and indeed from the consumers who are expressing a lot of dissatisfaction 
throughout the weekend because principally this was the VIP demo, meaning that everyone receiving it actually had purchased the game or the code one way or the other and therefore it wasn't really free to play for all and nobody felt privileged in the course of the last three days. Regrettably, the demo is likely to be one of the worst <coughs> VIP demo launches ever in the video gaming history and at the end of the day the problems will have to be found and resolved because as you know the game already has gone into the very final production i.e printing stage for the physical products and um, it is going to be fully distributed digitally prior to the 25th which means we are going to be able to uh, beg your pardon 22nd of february we are going to be able to engage with the game on the 22nd so it's four weeks in between and as you know we are going to have another weekend of uh, VIP demo testing which is going to be the next weekend and that weekend is going to be a free demo basically open for all and I literally just dare not imagine what difficulties there may be unless the core problems of this weekend had been resolved by Thursday night because obviously with the open play or the open demo we are talking about a tenfold increase of the gamers coming in in addition to those who are there already because obviously all of us can access the game uh, the demo also urging the next weekend so you know I guess a lot of anxiety for, for all of us there but at the end of the day let's just make one thing very clear the technical issues will be resolved they will disappear and the Bioware team will find a way forward which is going to be problem free and the overall feeling of the game is very very positive it is a very ambitious project so I really ask all of my viewers and subscribers to be very patient I'm certain that Mr Hudson and his team are going to be doing everything possible to make it as smooth as possible once the game is out let's not forget this is a demo this is not actually a proper game release date but we are to be expecting some other problems and glitches on the 22nd of February so everyone needs to bear with that fact I'm not sure what the problems are like to be but coming back to the game what I did like about it is first of all ease of use all the menus are easily accessible at all times you have maps which were beautifully designed and clearly marking your position uh, the mobility of the character is probably the most advanced I've seen with any Bioware game it's very fluid very smooth you can be using all of your weapons with ease the aiming seems to be very very precise so all the other issues emerging to the Mass Effect trilogy have been really heavily worked on <clears throat> and we are likely to be enjoying many hours of excellent gameplay when it comes to FPS sequences or I should say third person shooter sequences uh, because obviously we are playing the character and we are not doing it as FPS and uh, um, the other thing is the world, the Anthem world is incredibly big, there are lots of different corners to explore. As we are exploring the areas we are stumbling on various enemies, hostile creatures, as well as a number of sub-quests. So beware, there will be many adventures to be had here in the Anthem world. And literally we are now going to be testing all these other javelin suits if the demo version is going to allow us to do that so without further ado i hope you guys have enjoyed my presentations hope you enjoyed also testing your demo as far as you could because obviously all of us were marred with technical difficulties i'd be quite curious to hear from the gamers on xbox and pc whether the same difficulties were experienced you can see what uh, i have been experiencing through my art uh, you know streams which are archived on YouTube and uh, two major problems were really rubber banding I very severe lag prevents me from any kind of mobility in certain sections in many sections of the game as well as the infinite loading screen wonder whether you experienced the same or whether you had any other technical difficulties if so send us a message drop us a tweet write your chat messages here I'll be very very glad to respond and indeed hear from all of you but we've come now to the section which you like the most which we like the most, uh, that is called our testing gameplay. And let's just carry on. As you can see, we have another expedition, so let's see whether it works better than what we experienced last night.
Well, as you can see, it does not work at all. It does not want to load the game or the expedition which has been marked there. So yet another disappointment, yet another in the line of many troubles appearing from this VIP demo. Looks like I'll have to restart my broadcast yet again. I'm not very keen on doing this, but uh, there's nothing else for me. He does not want to load yet again, so I have to discontinue my broadcast, reload and come back to you again. So please stay with us, stay here on this channel and I'll be back very, very shortly.